if she wants to lay down in my lap, that's okay, but when she spins around doing backflips while uh, laying in my lap, that's just too much to handle. I'll have to move her. Now, there they are, Armenia. Armenia. What's this? Kiva. And they're over there as well. Tiburistan, Afghanistan. Ganja. Well. Hmm, interesting. Oh, look at that. Karakoyuna is actually getting thrashed by the rebels. That's, that's good. So, gain holy war against Chernigov. So I guess they, yeah, they gave that province to them. Oh well. Golden Horde. How long is our truce, by the way? 77, six more years. Do we have any truces fading soon? Lithuania, 78. So yeah, that's that's basically Golden Horde. That's the potential target out of those. Brandenburg is a bit far off. But yeah. We will uh, manage this somehow. Our general died. That's rude. What's our... We have pretty decent army tradition. So I'll, I'll get a new one straight away. Just while it's uh, while it's up there, Ottomans keep asking me to send me my send them my trade power. And I keep saying that's not gonna happen. Now we got our diplo rep. I'm happy for that, so we can actually start integrating this. One that siege now. Sorry, Armenia. Take Koryevan. They call Persia and Haza. Haza. What's that? Haza, that's not nothing to worry about. Uh, so, Leia, that's... Persia. Let's see Persia. Oh, they have a lot of allies. Allies. A lot of allies. Feels like my tongue is... exploding in size. So, yeah, I do not want my king to die just yet. I want my heir to be for at least 13 before I before I do that. Oh Georgia, oh Georgia. Why dost thou backstabbeth me? Oh my god. Well, how far off? 85, so they're, they'll be in this soon. Yeah, I guess it's lame to wear, to blame Georgia. But I'm gonna blame Georgia. Even though it was stupid to, to depend on my ally, sorry, my vassal, when I know how flaky they can be, especially in this game. So piety, uh, I lose piety right now, thank you. Um, and then that. Really? I don't even know where to begin. You get one ally. Sorry, why do I keep calling them allies? One vassal not wanting to fight with me, leaving me to die. And then we got a vassal throwing 6,000 troops into a mountain against 16,000 troops. That's almost as stupid as my move right over here. I guess that's why they're my vassal. Oh my god. This is a disaster. <laughs> and then Wallachia does the same, but with 4,000 troops. But at least Georgia won their fight. So, yeah, there's that. Can you please come solve this for me soon? It's good to have high trust. That uh, actually overcomes defensive attitudes. That's uh, something very useful. Yeah, I don't even... 
I'm not even going to comment on that. I need a better ruler, sorry, general. If they're going to attack me. Fifty-four. Yeah, they're paying off. They're paying off their debt, so we should be fine. Also, Transylvanian. I need to take care of those as well, because we do not want Transylvania, and we do not want Hungary. Let's see. Are those? Yeah, those are the three things. That's not. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And look at that. That's not fair. That is so rude. So bad timing. What do I do? Do I go there? Do I prioritize that? My vassals. Admin power. Slash rebels. Can I actually do anything about it? Um, 10. 13. It's mountains. What's their tech? Tech 12. So they're more they're higher tech than me. Yeah, I can't handle that. I need a, I need the Ottomans. Uh, Sweden at war with Holstein. So let's see what's that. I I want to just be part of what's happening in the world. Hanseatic conquest of Stade. So that's the Hansa against uh, Holstein. All right. Just want to know. Uh, knowing what wars are going on is can be kind of important. At least when you're trying to uh, get uh, every opportunity you can. So mountains, mountains. Guess we could. Let's do this. That's kind of sneaky. That's the war gold. So we'll uh, we'll, uh, we'll sit on top of it. But there they've got what, twenty-eight thousand. So here's to hoping the mountains actually help me. Three, four ruler, sorry, general from Georgia can help as well. So yeah. This is it. Now it's up to the to the mountains to decide whether this will work out work out or not. Probably not. Do they actually have Why do my one three general take precedence precedence over Georgia's three four? Sometimes this game amaze me, amazes me. How about now? Have I died enough now? Soon? Um, yeah, prestige. Now this is this is embarrassing, and people are watching me fail like this, which is the probably the worst part of it um, <laughs> but yeah fighting with with vassals can be unpredictable actually uh Circassia, are you still yeah you're still going strong that's good I need to keep this I need to keep an eye on when it's at 320 I think well, they did get one more, so let's check that. I need 160, so when they're at 320, I need to start annexing uh, Circassia. And that would be a long time, since it's going one month at a time. Uh, minus 24, just get out of that de debt. Uh, Please, oh there we go, thank you. Please take care of the rebels as well, that would be good of you. I'll sit back for now, let you handle this. Uh, Alright, what else? 
look at that. Now is this the point of time when you decide whether to commit to religious or not? Well, it kind of comes down to if I want to stay Sunni or not. If I want to stay Sunni, I'm going to have to go religious. And preferably humanist as well. Uh, because all my vassals are orthodox. So when I... Well, except for Wallachia. Uh, so when I annex them, I'm going to end up with a terrible extremely terrible um, religious unity so by then it will probably be easier to just get it all flipped back to orthodox orthodox is also fine especially when Russia gets stronger so let's see Russia uh, yeah yeah I guess I guess flipping back and getting allied with Russian by now would be at least a decent idea. But I need I'd need uh, orthodoxy to be the major uh, majority religion before I could do that. But uh, these two might actually help with that. And also Galicia Volinia. So maybe I should start annexing them as well. 440. I'll improve relations at least. So yeah, then I could flip back to orthodoxy and be able to ally, I guess, I hope, I'd be able to ally Russia and I could use, could use them to, to beat up Austria. That might be a good idea. And I can just ignore the Ottomans from then on. Oh, please. So when I finally get that Diplo rep to be able to start annexing, I get minus one Diplo rep for five years. That's the kind of uh, crappy humor this game throws at me. It's just silly. But yeah, I think I will live. So, yeah. Just checking the chat uh, to see if it's see that I didn't by mistake uh, leave it scrolled all the way up or something strange like that. So yeah, Commitment to Sunni or not. It's a difficult choice. Because either way, both both committing to Sunni and trying to switch to orthodoxy can be really hard and risky. Um, So I don't know. Ten fifty three. Yeah, we're we're safe for now. But yeah, and there's the the chance that Russia won't ally me. Well, if I break the alliance with the Ottomans, that should be okay. I could potentially. Now here's the thing. If I keep my alliance with the Ottomans. If I just keep it and make sure I do not lose it, I could potentially ally both the Ottomans and Russia. It would be kind of tricky, but it would not be impossible, I think. Uh, but yeah, that, uh, that uh, may means that I need to go orthodoxy again. Which is not impossible, only very hard. Not to get the rebels to spawn, I've got that under control, I know exactly how to do, but um, to be able to actually switch and make it a seamless transition, because I'm going to have 
a lot of territory that Sunni that I need that I need to convert. Yeah, that's true. They usually do get that. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That is uh, that is a good point. Also, uh, hello to you, BRT Drear. Uh, yeah, that's risky. Still, Russian powerhouse as my ally. They don't have any mission at the moment that I can see. So he died. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I replace it with something. I guess, oh, of course the statesman is level 2 that I cannot afford. Prestige production, no. Land maintenance, I guess. It's the only good choice out of those. So, yeah, that's almost taken care of. That's good. When the Cedars Vieravan, so yeah, now we got the war goal. And hills, mountains, hills. Sherevan. Who's in this war? Hazan Persia. I can I can remove if I wanted to. Well, sounds like it's up to me, but yeah. Just gonna stand there for a while, see. See if uh, I get some help from down here. But yeah, Russian mission. I'd need to I'd need to look into that. See if there's anything I can do to manipulate that mission to not fire for them. Um, that's the good thing with uh, this game. Uh, the game files are easily accessible. So that you can check events and missions and whatnot. Especially useful is uh, to uh, check rebels so that you can manipulate what kind of rebels you get. Stack wipe, please. One stack wipe. Two stack wipe, maybe. No, they're going far down there. Alright, internal conflicts in Galicia Volinia. Why'd you do that? Well, maybe it said it was over, I don't know. Uh, who's this? Wallachia. National tax. Well, like, like le the legitimacy ever mattered to me. Almost ready to get 100, so I'm gonna waste that to get some extra money. I think. But 20 legitimacy, that's gonna reduce my revolt risk, my unrest pretty much, and yeah, I guess. And no, my king's gonna die. And that was a waste. But at least I'm prepared for it now. See if we can't stack wipe those guys as well. At least kill kill them dead. Yeah, they're going the right way. That's good. But where will they run in this direction? Guess they would run there and where? Well, we'll see. Cartley? I guess Cartley. Yeah. Predicting AI escape mm, behavior is uh, a little game in and of itself. 
let's take it easy now and see how many they actually are lose 25 piety uh, 15 mountains well let's uh, let's hope it works out <laughs> oh yeah that's what you get for trying to stack wipe in mountains I guess I'm just gonna stop fighting right now. This is uh, d don't attach to my units. I don't want to lose more manpower. This is uh, I'm just throwing men at my enemies. This this is silly. I need to get my my act together. And yeah, kind of wish I didn't. Uh, didn't this Russia now in the beginning they were so weak compared to the Ottomans the Ottomans are getting stronger though they're creeping into Europe and into northern Africa so they are powerful but how powerful are they by the way 77 force limits yeah that's good not as good, but pretty good. And isn't their tech group like 10% compared to Eastern? That's 30. So, or is it 20%? Yeah, probably 20. So they're... Um, should be ahead of Russia, right? 12? 12. So they're the same. Russia's... Well, both are lucky, so it's, it's, it evens out. Uh, am I making no zero per month? Oh, did they actually change that? So that it does not progress while you're at war? It used to be that it uh, it was only impossible to start it while at war. That is uh, a, major, a major change, to be honest. Major change indeed. So yeah, it seems like uh, Wallachia is gonna break to Orthodox rebels as well. And also Protestant. So I'm probably gonna end up... Uh, oh, admin power. So I'm probably gonna end up uh, flipping to... Oh, that's nice. Probably going to end up flipping to what's it called? Orthodoxy again. Then I'm going to need missionaries, to be honest. So I guess either way. Well, I guess I could go humanism. Heathens. Hmm. Well, isn't Sunni difficult to convert? Uh, yeah, minus 2%. Compared to, compared to orthodoxy, that's minus 1. So this would help. But also humanism would help. It would help ease the the transition, I guess one could say. But yeah, tolerance, prestige, and then I would get I would get even more uh, converting uh, eventual Catholics. So yeah, I guess. I guess I might be going back. Let's do this. Yeah, we got some trade efficiency as well. I'm finally committing to religious. But yeah, right, not right now. We need to actually integrate some territory first. So we'll get to it. 
And if we can't be at war, that means it's going to take some some actual time, which is uh, kind of crappy. But yeah, guess the more uh, diplo rep I manage to scrap together, the better. So yeah, this will help. Oh, now I should actually. Maybe I already do have my. Yeah, I do have my king leading troops, so that's good. Now would be a good time for him to die. To be honest, uh, that would put my diplomatic reputation back up to, well, at least some, some part. Oh wait, maybe it just shows zero because my diplo rep is zero. I don't know. Minus one. Even though it says so. I have this feeling that it shouldn't be like that. Well, I guess they could have changed it. We'll see what happens when this war is over. So, Kara Kuyunlu. I did set them as rival, right? Yeah, I did. So. Oh, you know what? You know what we're going to do? We're going to humiliate them. And we're going to be happy with that. We're going to leave it at that. Um, let's see. I can probably get that done right now. Humiliate, yeah. Also war operations. And some money. This isn't really some money, this is some inflation I'm paying for. Oh well. No. Let's not let's not even do that. I get not enough in inflation as it is. Uh, so humiliate and war operations. Just like that. We get more power projection. Uh, so I wasn't even involved. Good. Rebel Uprising, Crimean Nationalists. Uh, seems like I've got some things to take care of like that. Also... So yeah, I guess... I guess it does stop at during, during war. Which is... Which means that at the current rate I'm gonna need to be at war... Sorry, be at peace for 480 months which is 40 years which is not really gonna happen so I'm gonna need have to uh, I'm gonna have to increase my diplo rep gaining money yeah that's good so yeah that one is a good choice uh, Losing some money, but not much. The war operations actually take care of the deficit. That's good. Uh, royal marriage. It'll lower my legitimacy, but why not? Let's see. We've got three... Three people to integrate. Galicia, Circassia, and Imerti. No, Georgia. It's their name. So I guess I'm not going to integrate Wallachia as it is. Also that's probably... No? Well, look at that. 580 Diplo power. They have some high base tax. Anyway. Galicia and Circassia. I need to keep their relations high. Because, uh, I mean, this should be 440. That's soon. That is uh, really soon. So yeah, welcome to excitinggameplay.com. Uh, we play Annex slash Integrate in EU4. And yeah, that's about it. Also Rebels. But we don't care about Rebels. What's this about? No extension, nationalism. Romanian Patriots. 
Why is that even a thing? 